All right, guys, John and John here from Nothing But Cardboard, and today we have a PSA order. Not just a PSA order, but also a cracking. We cracked some 9.5s, some Jim Mint cards, and also some uh, HGA 9s and 9.5s. So we want to see how they do. We've been testing out some different things. So stay tuned. Let's see how they grade. So as John just mentioned, we have a bunch of crack slabs that we sent in to PSA, just got them back. So if you saw our last video, we tested out a bunch of green label CSG nines, saw how they graded. Well, this time we are doing green label nine fives plus and a couple of HGA nines as well. I, I, I personally am very excited to see how the HGAs come back because we specifically picked HGA nines that had the right subgrades that we thought would bump up and we have two of them in this order, and I think that they're gonna gym, but I there's only one way to find out. Never know. Never know. Roll of the dice. So, so what do you what do you think about these cards here? I'm excited for these. Um, having the subgrades on there really helps. John and I cracked them, looked them over really well, cracked them, and then we both pre-graded them again before we sent them off. Just depends on what kind of mood the grader was in, but um, yeah, I mean we really both feel, we both feel like the green label CSGs. They graded a little bit tougher than the black label, the new grading sure. scale that they have now. Um, I know that we probably sent off over a hundred cards when they had the green green labels, and we maybe got like three gym cards. Yeah, they were tough. just that tough on the on the on the grades. And nowadays, yeah. it seems like half the cards you submit, they're going to come back gym mint. So that's kind of what we where the curiosity came from, and we're going to see um, how these cards do. So stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and blind reveal right now. All right, so here we go. We have the nine slabs here, some newer stuff. So 9.5, this was, uh, found a deal on eBay. We bought a bunch of slabs from one guy. Yep, Mr. Zeet, so shout bought, out. Hey, hey, no, oh, don't give away the secrets. <laughs> so John and I pre-graded these after we cracked them. We looked them over in a slab to make sure that there was uh, nothing that we saw. Yep, so this is Bowman Best, Julio Rodriguez Refractor, rookie card. We both had it pre-graded at 10, and it got, oh Nine. no, ah, I did not see a single thing wrong with that card when we sent it in, John. Neither. I mean, it had three 9.5s okay. from. That's worth $35 right there now. It went down in value. Good card. And it had such good subs, too. Yeah, man. Good. man, that's not, that's not boding well. So this is a Drew Brees rookie card, Pacific Dynagon. It Nine was five. a was a gym mint. Two tens in the subgrades. And what did we pre-grade this? Uh we pre-graded this one both to 10. Like the last one? Just like the last one. And it got a nine, just like the last one. I want to cry a little bit, John. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, let's wait till the video's over. This is there may be children watching and they don't they don't want to see a grown man cry. All right, let's turn it around it's here. It's just what reality, got? John. That's just what it is. Got rare air <laughs> with one of the first cell phones ever made. Look at yep. the size of that thing. 9.5, we didn't have any subgrades on this. Nope, we both pre-graded this, guess what? A 10. Can I change mine? No. What? An eight? <laughs> wow. What the frick? These guys are harsh, man. Maybe they don't like our videos. I don't know. They I thought we were nice to them. So right now we're uh, losing money. We like we said, we paid probably twenty five bucks for each of these to, to get them, and, and then to grade them, it was eighteen bucks a card. Yeah, eighteen bucks a card plus we're just, shipping. We're losing money hand over fist right now. Speaking of losing money, this guy's not even playing right now. <laughs> Lamar Jackson, three nine five subgrades. Yep, pre graded a ten. Both of us, obviously. That one. Thank God we got something. Fifty dollar slab. Woo! Hey, he's not even playing. But it could have been a twenty dollars slab. Certainly. The rate that it was going. That's that started us off. Though. Holy crap! And this one was. Now, if this one doesn't get a gym in, I don't know what's what a gym in is because this one was a pristine CSG ten, and it looked great. We both graded it to ten. Dak Price. There we go. Gym in. Turning it That's around. A good card. Turn it around. He's playing well. He's healthy. Probably Heading an eighty dollar card. Probably an eighty dollar card. All right, we're gonna keep going here. LeBron James, the uh, Bronze Diaries. Yep, was a gym mint. We uh, green we label, which is supposed to be tougher. Pre-graded, so I pre-graded this a ten. You pre-graded it a nine. The way things are going, I think they're gonna give this a nine. Darker card are always harder. 
So let's see. Yep, got a nine. Got a nine. Anytime there's dark borders on a card, it doesn't take much to get a, a little ding. Yep, so that one is a solid $10 at a PSA 9. Oof. <laughs> Oof. All right, so we're switching over to some HGA. Um, it's a big card. This could bail us out, right? It here. could. So the reason we bought this, I know it's an HGA 9, but if you look at the subgrades, it got a 9.5 for surfaces and a, a 9 for centering, and everything else looked clean. So John and I both pre-graded pre this card, and we both don't say it. Both gave it a guess what, John? A ten. A ten. We both gave it a ten, and it got a ten. Man, ten. Let's go. That saved our butt right there. Oh my goodness! So we had an HGA nine of all things crossover to a PSA Jim Mint ten, and I have zero faith in CSG. I don't know if you guys saw our last video. We submitted nothing but green label CSG nines. Zero crossed over. Zero out of ten crossed over to a 10 and right now we've only had one csg gym mint crossover to a 10 right yep i think everything else is a nine or lower that is no explanation for that okay so this is john's personal card he had a tua this is going to be uh the premier level silver nine five two has been playing pretty well had a rough last game um, but his team should make the playoffs so i'm pretty high on tua right now well, two of these cards, I had to wait for them to come from China, and when John and I cracked them and checked them out, one card wasn't even worthy to Correct. send off. So, so they were both HGA slabs. One of them was damaged when we opened it. This one was not. We both pre-graded this at 10, and it got a gym at 10. There you go, John. Very nice. You made up for the one that was damaged. Very nice. So the last card is mine. We're going to go ahead and switch seats here. All right, so this was a big card, and this is my personal card. And it was also an HGA 9. So this is a Justin Herbert Prism Black Silver. It got an 8.5 for centering. Everything else was a 9.5. And that lead me, led me to believe, you know, there's a good chance this one moves up. You can see right here on the back, the centering is pretty far off, but it is within the 25.75. The front there, as you can see, is a little bit off left and right. And it's pretty good up and down, but it is well within the 60, 40, John, what did we pre-grade it? Both the 10. I'm about to uh, either lose my mind or flip this table. It got a gym in 10, let's go! Yes! Very nice. All right, so thank the Lord that my one Herbert card gymmed out. It gymmed out. And what's crazy, John, we had better luck with HGA 9s than we had with CSG 9.5s. Now, HGA uses the AI to look it over and then a person CSG is just guys looking at it, you know. It's Crazy though, but every single one of our HGA slabs, these three right here, all gymmed out. What does that tell you? When we first started doing this, we were 10 for 10, I think, with HGA slabs. Now, the other thing you have to consider here, these are all newer cards. These are all 2020 cards. All the other ones, and if you look at our other 10s that we got, not that old, 2016, 2018. Everything else though, older so that's 2005 97 2001 and this one's a new card i was surprised this one came back man but 2021 yeah so they definitely grade the older cards a little bit harsher um in my opinion but it could also just be csg sucks so that that could be it as well um but there's the video i'm i'm super comps pumped. on your card yeah Anywhere from 182 to 324 dollars. 182 seems a little low, but 300 is about what I thought it's worth. You played I, well last. I week. bought this card for 80 bucks, so that's a huge W with some 18 dollar grading. So love it. He played fantastic yesterday. Yeah, if they can so. make the playoffs, it's just going to go up with the hype. So I love it, love it, love it. All right, we love you, and we'll see you guys on our next video.